Now another feature that you have that will allow you to use your PDF is to go up to the Edit menu and choose to copy the file to the clipboard. So now this file is on your clipboard. So what you may think? Well remember, when you have something on a clipboard, that makes it easy to use it within other applications. For example, I'm going to open up Microsoft Word and paste and see what we've done. We've been able to copy our text in the Word and see I can even edit it if you want to. So that's a rather handy tool. Now while we have our PDF open here, I'd like you to see what happens when I right click on it with my mouse. You get a menu of options. I'm going to go down towards the bottom and look at these two options here for the moment. Document Properties. This allows us to give some additional information to our file. So if this is going to be used in a website, say for example, you can add additional metadata. Security information. You can change it, add a password if you'd like. Your font information. Initial view, custom settings, and some advanced settings as well. Right click, page display preferences allows you to change your page format and your zoom features, your resolution, how it's going to look, page content, rendering, and etc. Again, if we right click on it, we can bookmark it, decide which tool we're using, rotate, print, search for something within the document, some text. So Acrobat makes it very easy for you to create PDFs both within its own program and within other programs as well that are compatible.